Today I'll be demonstrating a hardware device I created called the Wicon Kit, a compact Wi-Fi reconnaissance suite based on the ESP8266. It contains a packet monitor, a hacks detector, as well as an FTP honeypot. The ESP8266 features a promiscuous mode which lets us capture Wi-Fi packets in the air and pertinent information stored in the frame header for each packet such as both the source and destination MAC addresses, SSID, packet type, and more. I was able to use this feature of the ESP8266 to create the packet monitor for the Wicon kit, which displays the source and destination addresses, channel number, SSID, RSSI, Etc. Using this packet sniffing functionality, I was able to implement a hacks detector, which checks for deauthentication and disassociation attacks by scanning for a suspicious amount of each of those respective packet types. If a hacker attempted to deauthenticate a network, the Wicon kit would detect a flood of spoofed packets and warn the user. Lastly, I incorporated a FTP honeypot which sets up a seemingly vulnerable Wi-Fi network hosting a file server in order to catch hackers attempting to connect to the network via an alert from a canary token. The materials you will need to construct the Wicon kit include a 128 by 64 OLED screen, a Node MCU based ESP8266, a 18 by 24 piece of perf board, two tactile push buttons, a LED, and female pin headers. I began the assembly process of the Wicon kit by sketching a schematic using EZEDA. Then I connected all the components together on a mini breadboard. After the breadboard version was complete, I put all the components on top of an 18 by 24 piece of perf board and soldered them together using wire that I stripped using a wire stripper. After soldering, I ran a few continuity checks and then it was all ready to go. In order to set up the code for the Wicon kit, head over to the GitHub page linked below and install the code. After you open the code in the Arduino editor, make sure to configure the ESP8266 under the board manager and install all the libraries shown in the setup section on the README. Then make sure to change the variables in the sketch to match your own network name and password and then link the canary token URL to the canary variable. Once you get that set up, your code is ready to go.